I'm Corey Blair. I'm Justin Ralph. And we are the Cinnamon. And it's new release Wednesday, and today we're going to be reviewing the film Skyfall. Skyfall is the latest installment in the James Bond franchise. It is Wednesday, February 13th, 2013. It is New Release Wednesday, where we review the new releases of yesterday, today. And today, as we said before, we're reviewing the new James Bond film, Skyfall. Oh, man. You both know what's at stake here. There isn't much road left. Take the bloody shot. I mean, what is there to say about Skyfall? This is the first James Bond movie I've ever watched. Only my fourth James Bond movie. This being the first one I saw of right now... I couldn't imagine any of them being more entertaining, more action-packed, just any of them being a better movie than what I witnessed. It's the best one I've seen so far, and I mean, I, I, just, I can't see anything being better than it. Not even the, the Sean Connery ones or Pierce Bronson. I just can't see anything topping it. It's just, oh man, it's incredible. The start of the movie just... I mean, from the get-go, it's just, it grabs you and it just holds you. Throughout the entire movie, I did not want the film to end. Never lets go of you. Just the opening sequence was crazy. Just everything about it. I don't show action packed, fast paced. So, oh god, it's incredible, and it's it's beautiful to look at. It's shot beautifully. You have that amazing song by Adele at Skyfall. Yeah, playing during the opening credits, which the Perfect. opening credits were pretty cool, too. Oh, they were awesome. The only performance that really stands out for me was Javier Bardem. I mean, he just plays such a good bad guy. You know him from No Country for Old Men playing Anton Chigar with that famous terrible haircut. <laughs> and he returns with a really bad haircut in this film. He's fantastic. He... He's he's made to be a villain. Just he's, his, he's a great villain. Just He's awesome in this movie. And then... The other performances, I mean, they're, they're good, but nothing nothing special. But that doesn't take it away from the movie at all. I mean, the movie is still just phenomenal. Daniel Craig's the man. Daniel Craig is the that's, man. That's all I gotta say. Is he's, he's the man. I definitely want to get a cutthroat racer now. I can see why the sales went up. <laughs> yeah, the sales. Need to, need to get a shave. This movie is actually number seven of the highest grossing movies of all time now. A little fun fact for everybody I out can there. see why. I feel like such an idiot for not going to go watch them theaters. If I could go back in time, that's one. I, yeah. I can say that's one movie that I would love to see on the big screen. Now... Our Best of 2012 list came out earlier this month. Now, do you think Skyfall would break your top ten? I, I have to say Skyfall has something to say about my, my top ten. It, I would have to take a look back. It would definitely... It's it, definitely... It, he'd fight his way into the top ten. There's no doubt about it. This, this is one of the best action movies I've ever seen. James Bond would find a way in there. I hate to compare it to the Bourne series because that's so cliché. But The Bourne Ultimatum was, has always been one of my favorite action movies ever. And this is right up there with it. It's the, it's on the same pace. It's just... Just the whole pace, the entire feel of the movie. It was just... It all just felt right. It just felt like... It man. never lacks at any point in the film. It does it ever lack. It, it never draws away from your attention. Why can't we be... As awesome as 007. Uh, 007. That's, my, that's, that's who I want to be. I want to be James Bond. I mean, how does he get with the ladies so easy? Yeah, but... Who can do the things he does and just get a woman that easily? Is it, th I... is it that easy? Come on, James Bond. James Bond, give us some tips. If you haven't watched any of the previous Bond movies and that's kind of steering you away... This is a standalone movie, I'm almost 100% sure. I watched it, I seemed to understand, I didn't see any like outside references going yeah, on that confused me Considering from I haven't seen Quantum of Solace, I wasn't lost so for if, a second. So, if that's steering you away, don't let it. It's time to check the oven, because it. I'm sniffing. It smells like the cinnamon rolls are about done, Smelling so let's open, open, open up that oven. And looks like Justin's cinnamon rolls are ready. I got, gotta say, I, I don't do this often. And I came into this thinking that it was going to be 4.5. 4.5 is pretty big. But after thinking about it, I can't justify giving it 4.5. I have to give it 5 Seminoles. It's one of the best action movies I've ever seen. It's just phenomenal. History being made right here on the cinnamon. The first 5 cinnamon rolls given out. I'm going to go with 4.5. I don't want to. I don't want to go ahead and go out on a limb. Give five cinnamon rolls right here, and then I can't explain myself. That's where I was. I just. I can't justify not giving it that extra half. 
I can't think of I anything know. to complain about, but I feel like, I don't know, but 4.5 cinnamon rolls, that's still pretty amazing if you ask me. Just an awesome movie overall. Jaw on the floor. Action packed. Action, action, action. But uh, it's not, it's not all. It's not stupid action. It's not action. all about the action. I mean, yeah. everything makes sense. It's, it's thriller. It's, it's smart. Yeah. It's, I mean, come on. It's just James so Bond. So if you got the chance and you want to watch a movie, this is just check be, it out. Being released DVD, Blu-ray, perfect opportunity. Just check it out, rent it, buy it, whatever you got to do. We recommend it highly. Together, that's a 9.5 out of 10 right there. That's an A plus if we're talking school grades. That is. You'd be happy with an A plus, wouldn't you, on that report card? Hang that on the fridge. A little smiley face sticker. So where does this rank on your top Bond films? Considering we haven't seen that many Bond films between us, I'm not really sure. It's the best one I've seen. Is there one better? Which one do you suggest that I should watch that is better than this one? And what did you just think about the movie what did overall? You think? Just did you like it? Did you? I mean, how could you hate it? You didn't hate it. <laughs> just leave us some comments below discussing everything that we just discussed. That's what we're that's what we're interested in. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and then uh, I don't I don't know where you got that shirt from. Oh, uh, we got, I don't even have that shirt. We got the merchandise online. The information for the website for the store will be below. below. Where did you get that shirt, dude? It's in the info below. Check it out when this video is up. Cinnamonreviews.com. Everything cinnamon related right there. For your convenience on the interwebs. Skyfall. My Adele impersonation. Sorry. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so I'm Corey Blair. I'm Ratliff. Justin Ratliff. And we are the Cinnamon. And this has been New Release Wednesday. Where we review all the new releases from Tuesday. On Wednesday. Check every Wednesday for the latest DVD and Blu-ray releases. Donut. <laughs>